Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Microsoft Whiteboard. This is an upcoming app from Microsoft that's aimed at the education market and is essentially a virtual whiteboard that's pretty familiar to you. So as you can see, the UI is very approachable. It's supposed to be sort of something you understand from the get-go. Along the bottom here, you see that there's a number of different pen options you can choose from, as well as a virtual ruler that you can use. Along the left here, we've got the option to zoom out, undo, redo, and clear the whiteboard. And along the right, we have the option to search the web and insert images from Bing do some magic with some graphs, share the whiteboard entirely, and uh, do some setting things, which we'll uh, take a look at in a minute. So um, the app itself, as I said, very approachable, very clean UI, and um, you know, you select a pen down here, and you can begin inking away. So I can say, hello, this is ink. And of course, this is on a Surface device. And considering it's a whiteboard app, you're likely going to be using this in an environment where a whiteboard makes sense, such as a classroom. So the app has a bunch of built-in skills that uh, make presenting in front of a whiteboard somewhat easier. So if I'm a teacher, for example, I may be teaching a group of students angles uh, in a maths class. So um, you're going to be wanting to draw shapes. Now, usually on a virtual whiteboard, drawing shapes is somewhat difficult because it's never accurate and, you know, things get smudged and gross and you can never draw a steady line. Uh, of course, with the virtual ruler, you can draw a steady line here. So we, we want to do an exact horizontal line here. I can do that. And now that line is horizontal. Now the app goes one further as well. It also has a feature called ink to shape. And what this does is attempt to recognize the shape that I've tried to draw and make it a perfect shape. So if I draw a square here, you'll see that that corrected it to a perfect shape. And now if I want to teach angles, I can simply do that. And the app will show me the angles of this device. And I can easily adjust them if I really want to as well, which is fantastic. So making and drawing shapes is pretty easy uh, with this app. And of course, you can also see the angles if you need to as well. This also works with pretty much any shapes. So if I do a triangle here, you'll see that that is a triangle. And I can quickly and easily make this shape have a right angle by just doing that and that gives it a right angle, which is fantastic. Let's try and draw some other shapes. Let's try a parallelogram. Hopefully it recognizes that this is a parallelogram. Yes, it did, that's fantastic. So it works with pretty much any shape you can think of up until I think Decagon, maybe less than Decagon. If you can draw Decagon, congratulations. But yes, it does, you know, shape recognition pretty pretty well. The other great feature this app has is the ability to quickly draw out a graph without me having to actually draw the graph. All I need to do is write the equation and the app will do the rest for me. Now this is great as a teacher if you don't have time to draw an entire graph of numbers and lines or whatever this will simply do it for me. So if I just quickly write out an equation here you'll see what I am talking about plus four graph there we go, that is my equation, and I can insert that into the whiteboard. And just like that, I've got an entire table with the lines, with the numbers, and everything in between uh, very, very quickly. I didn't have to spend time drawing out this whiteboard whilst the students in the class wait. This did it all for me, and I can obviously add on to this if I really want to and say, oh, there's a line that can go down there, whatever. Uh, do all that good stuff. So yes, that's a really handy feature as well. Not only that, this app has the ability to insert images from Bing without actually having to leave the app. So if we come down to the search icon here, I can search for cat. <laughs> and then I can insert cat pictures directly into the whiteboard. So there's a cat next to my graph. And I can say this is cat graph. This is cat graph. And there we go. I can now do some awesome things with all the different pen colors we've got here. I can even highlight some things. Yeah, there's the equation. This equation equals cat. Fantastic. And of course, if you want to, you can share this whiteboard with friends via the share button down here. Not only that, this app also has the ability to connect with other people, whether they're in the same room or across the globe and ink together on the same virtual whiteboard at the same time. So if you come up here, I can be doing my thing over here. And as you can see in the corner over there, you can see somebody else writing on this very same whiteboard and they can be doing their own equations and I can be doing my own equations and together we can teach or we can brainstorm ideas without having to be in the same room, which is absolutely fantastic. So if I say, oh, here's a here's a circle, it's got a word in it, and I can brainstorm over here. They can also brainstorm over there as well. So I can give them one of them and they can do their own thing, which is fantastic to say the least. So there you have it, guys. That's a very quick look at the Microsoft Whiteboard app. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.